Hey restaurant owners, today I want to teach you how to properly handle the cash in your restaurant so you can eliminate mistakes, make more money, and possibly prevent theft if there is any going on in your restaurant. Hello, my name is Ryan Gromp and I'm an author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, and I'm the founder of TheRestaurantBoss.com as well as Restaurant Profit and Performance. And as I said earlier, today I want to teach you how to properly handle the cash in your restaurant. When it comes to handling cash, there's really a lot of things that stay the same no matter what kind of restaurant you have and only one variable. If you have servers in your restaurant, then chances are they're going to carry their own bank and they're going to need somewhere to make change for that bank. But if you have cash registers, uh, cashiers, counter service, or bartenders that have a register, the rest of the procedures are all exactly the same for you. So first, let's address for those of you who have cashier or have uh, servers who are going to make their own bank. Now, you can't force your servers, at least in the United States, to bring in a certain amount of money. That's not their responsibility. You can encourage it, and I would generally encourage my servers to bring in about $100 in various amounts of change. You know, just coming in with a $100 bill isn't going to work. They should have quarters, nickels, dimes, uh, singles, fives, tens, twenties, you know, whatever works for you. But again, I would encourage this. You can't require it. You could encourage it. And I would also encourage them, like I said, to make sure that they have different varieties of change. Now, should their first order of the day, or if they didn't come in with enough change, be some strange amount, like let's say a $10 check and someone paid with $100, they might not have the right change for that. So that's where you would need a bank of some sort. Now, I would always train my servers to go to other servers to try to make change first. If there wasn't another server or if another server couldn't make the change, if you don't have a cash register set up, then this is when they would go to a manager to get change. Now, from here on out, the rest of these procedures are identical no matter how your restaurant is set up, whether your servers carry their own bank, whether they're cashiers or not. So the first thing that you need to know is that you should have at least $500 in your safe, in your main bank in the restaurant. Now, I would always have $1,000 in that bank because I never wanted to deal with running out of money, going to a bank, or being embarrassed and not having the right amount of change. Now, that would always vary between hundreds and twenties and fives and quarters and everything else, but I never wanted to run out of money, so I always had $1,000 in that bank. Now, that money will, will drop usually throughout the week, but for me, twice a week, I would refill that when I went to the bank. You may refill that once a week, you may refill that three times a week, that's totally up to you. But the most important part here is that it always gets reset to the exact same amount of money. I never like to just get money and have random amounts because that's where theft, that's where mistakes, that's where problems can occur. When it comes to cash handling, systems and consistency is most important. Now, I want to quickly show you a form that I use for that petty cash or for that safe bank to make sure that it's the same or to make sure that it's consistent throughout and you can find mistakes if there are any mistakes. So quickly as you can see on this safe log, we have a date, a time, a uh, transaction description, withdrawals, deposits, balance, and then initials from the employee whoever's filling this out. So every week I would print out a new form for all of my restaurants and we would enter the starting balance with, with their initials, the date and time. And then anytime money goes in or out of the safe, no matter what, it gets entered here, even if it's just to make change. It gets entered here, how much came out, the time, what are new balances, and then how much comes in, and what the new balance is. And so this way, I was able to go to all of my restaurants and audit their safe at any point in time and make sure that they had the exact amount of money that they were supposed to have in their safe. The next thing when we talk about proper cash handling is how do you set up your cash register? Some of you are going to have multiple cash registers. Some of you are going to have one cash register in a bar usually. Some of you might have multiple drawers in one POS system for different people. It's totally up to you. I always suggest that you have one drawer per person because then you can hold that person a little more accountable and find out if there's theft or if the mistakes are happening on their shift. Uh, otherwise, sometimes you might have two or three bartenders in one drawer, and that's okay. The only challenge there is that you can't really hold one bartender or one cashier responsible if multiple people are going into a drawer. So that's a decision you're going to have to make based on um, how much you care about this, 
uh, how much time you have on your hands and what your POS system or cash registers capabilities are. But again, when it comes to this, I always set my drawers to the exact same amount. I always set my drawers to $300. I see a lot of times with my clients' restaurants that their drawers will change every day. They just kind of set it with whatever they have. That didn't work for me. I always set my drawer to $300 at the end of a shift and then it gets rechecked in the morning. Now we covered a lot here, but there's a lot more to cover. I have a lot more forms and a lot more procedures for you in the next video in part two of this how to handle the cash in your restaurant video that I'm going to release next week. I want to show you exactly how I set up those drawers, how I close out those drawers, how I build my deposits on a daily basis, how I get change, and then how I transfer all of those overages and under and those overages and unders, the cash short and over, excuse me, into my accounting software. This has been Ryan Gromfin with The Restaurant Boss and Restaurant Profit and Performance. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there'll be a little blue button somewhere on this page. If you're watching on YouTube, scroll down, click and come over to my website, and below the video is a blue button that'll say like. If you could go ahead and smash that button, tell the whole world how great this video is, share it with some of your other friends in the restaurant business. That's how I'm able to keep producing this great content for you free of charge. Also, there'll be an opportunity for you to leave a comment. Please, if you have any questions or comments that you'd like to share with me, I make sure that I get back to you as soon as possible, usually within 24 hours on this. Have an absolutely wonderful day, and don't forget to check out part two in this how to handle the cash in your restaurant video series. Thank you.